Greetings once again from Victoria. My name is Garnet Schulhauser, and I am the author of five books in the metaphysical spiritual genre. And you can find out more about my books on my website, which is garnetschulhauser.com. So welcome to another video in my series entitled Startling Revelations from the Spirit Realm. All of my books deal with my dialogue and astral travels with my spirit guide, Albert, who confronted me on the street one day disguised as a homeless man. So on my many astral trips with Albert to the spirit side, to other places in the universe, to other places on our dear planet Earth, I discovered many startling new truths about our true nature as eternal souls, the cycle of reincarnation on planet Earth, and what awaits us in the afterlife. So today I'd like to address a question that I get posed quite often, which is, does everyone have a guardian angel? And the short answer is yes, everyone has a guardian angel. Now guardian angels are special spirits who typically do not incarnate in physical form on the denser planes like planet Earth. They are assigned to everyone uh, who incarnates on Earth and their d job is to watch over them. Guardian angels have special powers. They can manipulate matter and energy on the Earth plane and sometimes if it's necessary to protect the people they're watching over, they can actually temporarily manifest in physical form on planet Earth to help the situation to ensure that the person that they're watching over does not suffer an untimely death. Now you may ask, what is an untimely death? I mean, people die on our planet every day from accidents, disease, old age. So when is a death an untimely death? Well, an untimely death is one uh, where uh, the physical body dies before the soul is ready to leave the incarnation. All souls have the ultimate right to decide when to leave the incarnation, even though our human minds aren't aware of what's going on or what their plan is. All souls before they incarnate create a life plan, as I've mentioned many times before in my videos. And in the life plan, souls can incorporate several exit points will allow the soul to exit the incarnation if it is appropriate at the time. So that when a soul comes to the first exit point, if the soul is not ready to leave the incarnation, they will take a pass on that exit ramp and move on till they come to the next exit point and they're faced with the same decision. But because all humans have free will to take actions and make decisions, and all these free will actions from all humans on earth and the interactions of those with each person and the effect of natural disasters in our planet means that on occasion, an event might be foreseen by the person's guardian angel where the, the human body would die before the soul is ready to exit and return to the spirit side. In those situations, our guardian angels will intervene to make sure that we don't suffer a death before our soul is ready to leave. And they can do this in a number of ways. For example, if you're planning to drive somewhere in your city and that your guardian angel can foresee that you will end up at an intersection where you'll be involved in a fatal collision, they can send you strong intuitive messages before you leave to urge you, coax you to take a different route than the one that you usually take. That means that you won't be in that intersection at the same time as somebody running the red light. Your guardian angels can take more drastic actions. They can actually manipulate matter and cause your tire to go flat before you get to that intersection. That will delay you enough so that you won't be in the intersection again when the person running the red light roars through. So now you may say that when people die in car accidents every day on our planet, what was their guardian angel doing? Were they asleep at the switch? Well, the answer is no. Our guardian angels are with us 24 seven, always watching over us. So enjoy your journey and above all, remember to keep on dancing.